Hey, back by popular demand episode number three. This is a very special episode. We got Game Changer Steadies. Everybody's been talking about them. Not too many people have thrown them. We're going to throw them, tell you what we think about them. I'm going to eat them. Uh, yeah, not going to happen yet. Hey, we want to give a big thank you to West Sack Cornhole, Matt Davis up there, doing a great job with all of his leagues, and uh, Jack Rabbit Brewery. This is some good beer right here, so we'll enjoy this through the it's, day. It's great beer. We love that beer. Yeah, it's yeah. delicious. Good beer. Yeah, we need more of it. Shout out to you guys up there in Sack. What's this? Oh, that's a, it's a visor. What do you think? You wearing visors now? No, I think we're going to... I think I have some magic left in me. Let me see how magical these bags are. Oh. Oh. Jeez, what's up, Frank? Whoa, wow. Steve and Chris, what in the world? How's is this here? The, is this the set here? This is it. it. This is it. I'm sitting at home having breakfast and all of a sudden, what? Yeah. <laughs> this is wow. crazy. Wow, well, that's perfect. We're doing game changers. Yes. Nice. Game yeah. changer steadies too. I love it. It's time to change the game. AllCornhole.com introduces the Game Changers, a revolutionary patent-pending bag that gives you more hole action for a complete game satisfaction. Sticky side-down bags often clog the hole and are difficult to push. Game Changers gives you the control of throwing sticky side-down with the ability to push bags in from anywhere on the board. Evolve your game today. Get your Game Changers at AllCornhole.com. Let's review some bags, what do you think? Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. We got the man himself here, so well, first any look, questions we got? I want right to ask Frank who he's playing with this year hey. on, the, on the tour. Got a, got some exciting stuff going on, uh, of course. Uh, playing with a new partner this year. Uh, enjoyed my season last year with Scott Lane out of Florida. Oh, nice. But uh, this season, going to be playing with Jamie Graham out of North Carolina. Oh, it's going to be a great, great team right there. Yeah, super pumped. Yeah, nice. What are you going to throw? Are you going to end up throwing the steadies? Are you going to throw the game changers? You know what? I think we'll end up doing a little of both. A little of both? Yeah, I think we're, um, these these new steadies are, they're some sick bags, and we're super pumped about seeing what all they can do, you know, bringing some of the little bit of control back, uh, some blocks and pushes and air mills, and Love bringing that. that aspect back to the game a little bit. Love that. Do you think you could tell us what a little difference between the old game changers and the new ones are? like? Oh, yeah. Right away, you can tell there's a huge difference, but I, I think the play might be, you know, kind of the same, maybe a little slower, right? Yeah, we're, we're hoping that, you know, just still keep the same hole drop uh, action around the, you know, hole. But with, you know, of course, with the game changers, you've got some speed there. Uh, with the steadies, you've got a little bit more control uh, with that slide right type material. You're able to put up a few blocks, put a little defense in there, right. add it back to the game. That's a great bag. I love that bag. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, Chad and Miss Emily out, you know, with uh, all cornhole, they listen to the fans. Uh, the biggest request we've had since the new game changers came out has been rounded corners and a little bit of control, slowed it back down a tiny bit. So I think this is going to add a new dimension to the line of game changers. So you can either, you know, depending on the board situations, uh, the tournament situations, if you want to play a little bit slower, use the steady. If you, you know, the boards are running pretty good, you can still stick with it. Yeah. I did notice too, they're a little fuller bag too than the game changers. Yeah, with the rounded corners, it kind of shifts everything to the center of the bag. So it's going to feel a little bit fuller. A lot of people really love that type of feel in the hand. Uh, and you know that's where it all starts. If it doesn't feel good here, exactly. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I'm super pumped. Super, I'm sure everybody's going to be. This is going to be a high demand bag for sure. Oh yeah. I'm sure it's already the buzz is out there already. Oh, People yeah. are yeah, wondering Chad's, what the heck this thing is. He's put some teasers out there. You know, uh, some of the contract players with All Cornhole have already gotten the bags out, so mm -hmm. they've kind of hit the scene a little bit already. Well, you've seen a little bit on social media, some yeah. photos mm -hmm. here and there for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely want to give a shout out to the th fans. Uh, we appreciate everything you guys have done for us. Uh, without y'all, would be nothing. You know, um, it means a lot to me. It's a high demand bag. I know Chad has a tough time keeping up with all of it. It's yeah. like it's and and the funny thing is, again, we talked about this before. The name, like game changer, yeah. like how did they even know that it was going to be? Mm -hmm. It is a game changer. That bag changed the game. Yeah. So yeah. and. Uh, did you know? We've heard that before from a lot of people. Uh, you know, uh, we've even actually had people say, you know, that was quite bold coming out with that name, you know, for a bag. 
Uh, but for it to come out and then live up to the name has been, mm -hmm. you know, has been really cool. But some, you know, a little behind the behind the scenes thing with Game Changers, you know, this thing was a solid year, a solid year in the research and development phase. So, you know, it was super, super hard, you know, to keep it on the low, oh, keep yeah. it quiet. You know, I'm oh, sitting yeah. here going through all this stuff, and I'm, you know, I'm wanting to say that something's coming out, something, you know. Yeah. But we, you know, we really did. It was, it was really close to a year testing fabrics and testing, testing different uh, patch sizes. Did you have anybody outside yourself testing those at all? Or Absolutely, just, you, you, right? just myself. No, you, you know how it is. Yeah. It, oh, yeah. it, you, uh, you want to keep it, uh, you know, extremely oh, yeah. close. Bags, bags are an interesting thing. Bags have become an addiction for people. It's, it's oh, yeah. crazy um, the amount of bags I, I know people have. I know you have a lot of bags. I've got a right. ton of bags. It's like now we got even more Two bags now doing prison reviews. Right. But it's a uh, it's a weird addiction, and people mm -hmm. just fight over bags. And game changers are right at the top up there. It's, yeah. it's crazy. I appreciate it. That's like you yeah. say you have an arsenal of bags, but like this is to me like the ultimate weapon. You could do anything with this thing. This know. guy's gonna do our next commercial yeah. for us. Yeah. Right. <laughs> hey, sign me up. Incident, <laughs> Make sure that there's beer there. Yeah, but we'll hook you up. <laughs> Let's talk about the elephant in the room. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, Patton, so without going too deep into it, I mean, in a generic term, what does the patent cover? So with the, you know, with the patent, um, it protects us from, you know, anybody being able to have more than one type of uh, material fabric on the same side of the bag for performance purposes. So it, it's a very, very, very detailed uh, patent. And basically what we have to do, um, we have to protect ourselves. You know, you have intellectual property there that you have to protect. Um, and hopefully that, you know, this these guys will realize that and respect it and um, everything will work out. Yeah. Very good. I'm glad you could you could talk about that. That's uh, that's always been something going around quite a while and yeah. I appreciate you coming on the show and talking about that. Absolutely. I know it's a touchy subject with everybody, but well, I think we're going to go out and throw those later, right? Yeah, absolutely. And uh, maybe we'll, we'll throw the game changers too and kind of kind of compare. See yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, um, you know, with the traditional bag, how it has a stick and, you know, on this fast side, you know how you get those tumbles and tumbles mm -hmm. like you throw all the time? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's you won't see those. That's right. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you going to beat Frank today? Uh-oh. Um, uh, what happened? It just got weird, didn't it? At least, at least, I'll, at least I'll, I know I'll score points. Oh, you yeah, think uh, so? Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah. Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> we do have the all cornhole boards we will be throwing on, too. Chad sent those out to us pretty quick. So, uh, yeah. Drink some more beer. Throw some, throw some boards. Or throw the boards out, throw you, some bags. You can throw some boards, I'm gonna throw bags. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> there it goes again. Uh, if he right. gets to the point where we're throwing boards, something went way wrong. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Steve from Brews and Reviews. Frank Maudlin and I are here. We're gonna play a, a game of 21 with the new Game Changer Steadies. We'll see how it goes, and we'll have Chris Cook uh, battle and see how many points we can get. And, I'm going to score more points, by the way. <laughs> Chris ain't going to get nothing, so here we go. <laughs> Action on these bags are money. Yeah, they're, they're playing really, really good. I'm surprised that yeah. straight out of the box, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Another two points. Oh! Three bag drag. Three? Ah, good, good game. Good game, brother. 21-5. Nice. It's okay. <laughs> it's better than I thought I was going to do. All right, Cook, yes, you're up, man. All right. Let's do it. Good luck, brother. Here we go. Yes, sir. I'm really pleased with 
the pushes going on in it. I mean, we've had a couple hangups, but not too many. And there you go. <laughs> that was <Chris>. fun. <laughs> He's like, not you really. will edit all of that out. <laughs> He's like, cut. That won't even make it. You're only playing Steve this episode, and that's it. <laughs> Holy crap. See, me, I can only throw an airmail with the, with the sticky side, and this has, like, the perfect amount of sticky side for me to fill. So, yeah, that's money. Just like that one. Just like that one. Just like that one, do you see it? Do you see it? All right, guys, we just uh, threw the Game Changer Steadies. Um, loving the bag, it was awesome. Throwing on these ACL Pro boards. Um, what, do you, what do you think about them? Uh, definitely slower than the Game Changer. Yeah, I like it, I 100%. like the slower bag. Both sides are even actually pretty pretty slow. Um, I thought it was a great bag, I actually like it. I actually think this is gonna probably be my new, my new favorite bag for sure. Because, uh, you know, original Game Changer, a lot faster. A little, you know, you know how you, sometimes you can't have a blocking game, especially if you're throwing indoors with a regular Game Changer. These, you're, you're going to have that blocking game too. And then, you know, then you can slide them right in. These, these are money. It's money. like we talked about inside. I think uh, these are going to switch the game back a bit. Even if it doesn't right away, people are going to throw these more, and I think it's going to be more of a strategy game. Exactly. So, you want to give these a rating? What do you think? Slick side, Slick. one out of five. Yeah, I give it a three and a half, four. Which on the original game changer, I'd give it a four and a half, five. So For sure, definitely. definitely slower. I'm gonna agree. I'm gonna go with three on it. Yeah, three, three, three. And, and how about that stick? Stick side's gonna be. Uh, give it a. I think I'm, I might give it a three two. Just I'm gonna to, go four. I think yeah. that patch really makes a difference it's especially when stick. it's new when once it breaks in it's going to get a little little faster for sure so i think with the with the original with the original game changers i don't i don't feel like that patch had as much stick i feel like these do and it could be maybe that it's a it's a, this is a newer bag but uh there's a lot more stick with this i, I like it so i'm going to go with four on stick on this one yeah so. don't forget your um your rim uh this area around here is going to slow down that patch so it's gonna for sure like yeah yeah exactly yeah, because you don't have a fast side on this thing. Cool. Very good. Yeah. I think overall these uh, Game Changer Steadies are great in my book. I love them. It's yeah. A good bag. You're going to see me throwing these a lot. <laughs> cool. Once again, we want to thank Frank for coming out. Yeah, thanks, Frank. That was Appreciate awesome. Appreciate you. Thanks for coming Very out. Good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Great. Check out the Game Changer Steadies. I know they're going to be in demand, so if you can get them, get them quick. Yep, they'll be out December 11th, yeah, right? Do the release date. December, December 11th. December 11th, you'll be able to get these. You heard it first. You heard it first, right here. BruceReviewsPornhole.com. Talk to you. G uh, Gmail? Talk to oh, Jesus. Hang you're, on. You're fired again. Bruce and Reviews. Yeah, yeah. that's us. Hey, right. we're going to go now. We're going to throw <laughs> we're going to throw boards now. We're going to go throw some boards. We're throw some boards now, so. <laughs> Appreciate you guys. Thanks for all the support. See you next episode. All right, now that we're done throwing outside, huh? Well, first of all, I want to thank Frank for coming out. Yeah, thanks, yeah. For, thanks, yeah. thanks for coming. Thank you. Appreciate you guys having me. It was me. an honor having you get having yeah. you here reviewing all this stuff and it couldn't have gotten any better. I enjoyed um, the show, man. I enjoyed it. All right, so I think we're going to go into um, our shout out segment, so Okay, no, go ahead. That's messed up. <laughs> hey, I want to say thank you to Scoreholio, Ben, Nick, Greg, Jeff. All those guys are doing a good job. If you're not using Scoreholio, you got to jump on that bandwagon real quick. That's uh, that's a great system, especially for your lead directors. Uh, Danny Borgia, together we throw. He's doing awesome stuff. It's an apparel company, getting groups together, throwing together from all over the state. Um, who else we got? Matt Davis again. Thanks for the beer. Um, SCB Bag Habits, Jerry Lopez. Simi Valley. Eh. I don't like this tongue right. Done. <laughs> <laughs> that was a rush, too. All right, one, two, three, 30 seconds. All right, guys, Frank Modlin. Uh, really enjoyed coming out here with these guys. Uh, they're a blast. Uh, want to give a shout out, of course, uh, to my family back in North Carolina Brenda, Brooke, Kayla, Logan, and Little Bella. Uh, also to my sponsors. Chad and Miss Emily Littlewood out of Utah with all cornhole. Uh, we appreciate you guys, and of course, I want to give a shout out to um, all the fans out there. 
without you guys, man, none of this would be, you know, even possible. So I appreciate that. Also give a shout out to are you cooking? No, no, no. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Yes. No, I'd uh, like to give a shout out also to my partner for this season, Jamie Graham. Uh, looking forward to doing some good things out there. Great team. Yeah, appreciate it. That'll be fun to watch. All right, my oh, turn. My yeah, turn. Yeah, 30 seconds. Give me this. Let's see what happens now. All right, buddy. You ready? Ready. Here we go. Well, just like Frank said, first and foremost, my loving wife letting me do this with you guys. I love you, honey. Sandy, I love you so much. Uh, SP Cornhole baggy, Baggers, uh, Jesse Segovia out in Santa Paula. Uh, we've been partnering up a lot, so I want to you know, give him a shout out. 805 Cornhole, Lou Vera, local, local boys, started it all in 805, jumped on board. Love that guy. Uh-oh, F Bobby Tovar. <laughs> I want to thank everybody for thanking their wives and not me. Uh -oh. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Threw him under the bus. Yeah, line. buddy. <laughs> Love you, Jamie. <laughs> All right, buddy. You gotta send him back. He does have a home. Oh, thanks for coming out, but you gotta go, man. <laughs> Enjoy it, guys. All Enjoy right. it. See you later. Later. Well, that worked. Awesome. I'm actually pretty impressed with that. Man, we should call him later. Make sure he got home safe. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. You got stuff we want us to review? Send it to us. You got someone that's making boards in your area? You think they have a decent board? Let's have them get a hold of us. We'll review it on the show. Um, email us at bruisingreviewscornhole at gmail.com and we will uh, review it, tell you what we think, and yep. Yeah. And thanks for everybody for the support. You guys oh. are awesome. Uh, fans, keep subscribing, liking our stuff. We love you guys. Hopefully, you guys like our stuff and uh, we keep going, keep at it. So, tell episode four, we'll see you next time. Make sure you keep subscribed on there too. We're going to do some raffles on all the stuff that we have. That's how we uh, keep doing episodes. So, Keep uh, keep giving us the support you do, and we love you. Thanks. I love you guys. We have plenty of stuff that we can review, and, and with that being said, we'd love to have all of you guys that do bags and boards get a hold of us. Send us what you got. Let's review it and see what you got. <laughs>